Uh, this is a uh, 2013th December set question and uh, I think you uh, find out the answer, right? And uh, only uh, the option A is a little bit confusing uh, because you are not heard about, maybe you are not heard about cyclic coordinates. Cyclic. We will discover, discuss about this cyclic coordinates in Lagrangian mechanics and uh, play with this cyclic coordinates. So, uh, I think uh, without the knowledge of cyclic coordinates itself, with the uh, given lecture itself, you can find out the right answer. The right answer is, yeah, you know, that is option D, that is holonomic constraint. Uh, this is this is another set question. It is 2013th June question. So uh, in this question, the options are very long. So you read all the options first. So I think you read all the options. Now we can discuss. So, the option A and option C, check, no constraints are absent and in option C, no constraints are imposed. So, in option A and C, there is no constraints, okay. So, uh, then how we can call the system as a non-holonomic system? Because a system is non-holonomic when there is non-holonomic constraint. So, option a is wrong, option C is wrong. Now we have another two options, option B and the option B, D. So here uh, the number of degrees of freedom is the and the independent coordinates. Okay, here also, here saying number of degrees of freedom uh, is less than coordinates. And here they are saying uh, number of degrees of freedom is more than number of coordinates. Okay. I think uh, you know what is degrees of freedom. In my lecture, I told you degrees of freedom is equal to number of independent coordinates. coordinates minus number of constraints okay so uh, here uh, whenever there is a constraint we subtract it from number of independent coordinates so always degrees of freedom is less than number of independent coordinates not always if there is constraints if there is constraints then degrees of freedom definitely less than number of independent coordinates okay so which is the right answer yeah degrees of freedom is less than number of coordinates option b is the right answer uh, this is this is 2019th 19th June question and in this question there is a small error so I am correcting this question that is uh, which among the following is not true for constraints because uh, all the three options are true for constraint so I am uh, slightly modifying the question which among the following is not true for constraint okay first option holonomic constraint can be expressed as algebraic equation I think you know what is algebra algebraic equations okay uh, algebraic equations are like uh, uh, x square plus 2x plus c sorry 2x plus 1 equal to 0 this kind of equation that is there is a equal sign that is kind of balancing equations so these are called the algebraic equations uh, 
and we know holonomic constraints can be uh, expressed as f of r1 r2 etc rn t equal to 0 so it's a balancing kind of constraints so option a is correct now we are checking option b non holonomic constraint can be expressed as a differential equation i told you uh, a, an, an example of a rolling disk this example is from the classical mechanics by jc ubadhyaya in that problem you can see the constraints are expressed as dx sorry dx minus a sin theta d phi equal to 0 and uh, uh, dy plus a cos theta d phi equal to 0. So these are differential equations and a non-holonomic constraints can be expressed as a differential equation. So option B is also correct. Now we are going to check option C. Constraint force corresponding to Rionomous constraint cannot do work. So the Rionomous constraint uh, is function of R, R1, R2, etc., Rn, and it is time dependent. Okay. So for example, I told you about spring pendulum. So in the case of spring pendulum, uh, I told you there is work done. Okay, Bob is there, Bob is oscillating like this and the tension force or constraint force is acting in this direction. So here uh, W is equal to 0. But here in the option they are given that constraint forces corresponding to rionomous constraints cannot do work. So option C is the not true for constraint. And uh, option D also, you can check in the option D, holonomic and celeronomous at the same time. In the case of a simple pendulum, okay, simple pendulum, the length L equal to a constant. And here, uh, a holonomic constraint, we represent by equality sign. And uh, uh, the celeronomous constraint mean, the general expression will be R1, R2, etc., Rn and is independent of time. So here a simple pendulum is independent of time and L equal to a constant. So option C is the wrong, is not true for constraints. Uh, this is a 2016th question. So I think you now you are familiarized with uh, this question and answer. The answer is B. This is another set question. It is asked in 2018th February. So this also I discussed in my lectures. The answer is 3n minus k. This is a 2018th July question. Here I think you can easily answer this question. If you need some explanation, just watch my my explanation. Okay, so here basically uh, the question is to find out the degree of freedom. So we know the definition of degrees of freedom is equal to number of coordinates minus number of constraints. So here this particle is in a xy plane so this particle needs so one particle is there this x and y plane so this particles need two coordinate x and y so the number of coordinate is 2 and here uh, the constraint is given it is constrained to be at x equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 so there are two constraint equation holonomic constraint equation so that is 
minus 2. So what is the degrees of freedom? It is equal to 0. So the option is not given. So definitely the answer is none of these.